Welcome, Valley Vineyard, to the third week of Advent devotionals. We're halfway to Christmas. Um, this portion of scripture I'm reading this morning will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapters 1, verses 26 through 38. Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be? I do not know a man. And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also the Holy One who was to be born will be called the Son of God. Now, indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. This portion of scripture is um, commonly referred to as the Annunciation, which is the announcement of God becoming flesh, or Jesus, the human face of God. Um, my takeaway from this familiar passage is whether I'm willing to be like Mary. The angel called her a favored one, and I believe we're all God's favorite. After all, it's his desire for none to perish. The Bible doesn't tell us that she was without sin, so I measure up to her in that aspect. But it was the beauty of her heart that qualified her to be chosen to bring the Messiah into this world. The last couple of weeks, we've been looking at how we can be prepared this Advent season. Last week, Jimmy, Pastor Jimmy, in his uh, Sunday message, gave us a little acronym of, of STOP, how we can live our lives with S-T-O-P. Mary was a wonderful example of that. She, S, surrendered. She was willing to change her plans. Um, she was planning a wedding, upcoming wedding. And she was willing to put her life on hold for whatever God was calling her to do. Um, T, she trusted. It says she questioned the angel, how is this to be? But she wanted to know how it would come about. But she believed God. Um, she didn't question the deity of Christ and, and who he was to be, but what her role was in it. And then O, she was obedient, and she was said her answer, yes, Lord, as you will. You know, basically what we would say, bring it on, Lord. Um, she was willing to do that, you know. And then P is her praise, which we'll talk about that one tomorrow's devotional. But just, it reminds me of, uh, in our lives, my husband and I, Terry, we... Um, many years ago, it's been over 20 years ago, um, Sharla, who's the founder of the mission in Baja and Oaxaca, she came to us and said, I have a plan for your life. And it was as if the angel Gabriel came and said, I have a plan for your life. And we didn't know how that was going to play out. And it took us by surprise. But as we sat on it and thought on it, we um, went through the steps of seeing how that would play out. And we did go to the mission for a number of years. Um, but 
there are times in our lives when God speaks really clearly and says, here's the way I want you to go. And I, it's a challenge to say, yes, Lord, we're willing, whatever that takes. So um, let's pray today that we would, again, be like Mary and be willing to listen and answer the call to take Christ to this world that needs him so much as Mary was willing to bear Christ. We bear Christ as we bring him to the world. So let's pray. Father, I thank you um, for the example of Mary and the ways that she was willing to lay down her plans and be open to whatever you had for her, God, and that she would say yes and that her heart was willing. May we learn from her example, God. May we be willing to, to lay down our plans um, and say yes and trust you to show us how to do that, Lord. And God, we do choose to praise you. And, and through it all, Lord, um, thank you for this Advent season. Prepare our hearts for what's next. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.